thank y'all for coming out today. I think that uh, we're going to have some fun. Who's dove a dry suit before ever? Once. Yeah. yeah 15 <laughs> years ago. All right. A hey, couple things. And since I taught dry suit way back when, I have I modified how I teach now. Okay. Two things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about balance in the bubble, and we're going to talk about the perfect squeeze. When you step into water in this dry suit for the very first time, it is going to take you by surprise. Because the deeper you go, literally up to your waist, everything below your waist is going to be getting vacuum packed, squeezed down tight. Guys, you're going to, you're going to have a special kind of feeling. Going on, okay? <laughs> so what, I'm, what we're going to do is, as soon as that happens, okay, there's a fine balance on that squeeze, right? You want that squeeze to be snug, but kind of comfortable. You don't want it to be loose and full of air because then you are a sack of air underwater. So you're a, you're a bladder underwater. You don't want to be a bladder underwater. You want it to be squeezed down so that it's comfortable, but snug, right, at all times. That's how you're gonna gauge. The deeper you go, the air inside your suit is gonna compress down and it's gonna start squeezing a little bit more the deeper you go. So that's when you just go psh, psh, add a little bit of air, okay? The next piece of this is balancing the bubble, all right? Balancing the bubble means how do we wanna dive? Do we wanna dive straight up and down or do we wanna dive horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal, right? So in order to stay horizontal in a dry suit, if you have the perfect squeeze, okay, you're gonna keep your knees bent slightly, okay? You try to get a little bit of air in your feet, not a lot, so that your feet stay floating and your head stays down like this and you stay nice and flat, all right? And when you, and when you do that, then you're able to um, handle a two-year-old while you're out of the water doing class. But you can, the, uh, you can stay nice and level and nice and flat, okay? Once you stay nice and level, nice and flat, then you will be able to have a, a better dive, right? So in order to do that, I don't want you to use the bladder on your VC at all, okay? I want you to have that thing as empty as possible. Should you need it, you got it, right? But when you're diving, I want you to balance the perfect squeeze. You will find that as you are balancing the squeeze, then you are adding enough buoyancy to your equipment, because this thing is nothing but a bladder, right? You're adding enough buoyancy to your equipment that's gonna keep you nice and neutral, all right? A couple of ways to dump air out should you need to, okay? All of you have a dump valve on your left shoulder, okay? If you want to dump air out quickly, mash that button on top, make sure that it's the highest part of your body, like if you come straight up in the water column like this, or turn and be in an angle so that the air comes right out of your out of your valve. Also, you'll notice that on the Moby's uh, valve, if you set it to auto, as you come up, and if this is the highest part of your body, if there's if the air expands inside your suit, it will automatically come out. Okay. If it's not coming out fast enough, that's when you hit the button. If you don't want any air to come out of your suit when you do that, you can flip that switch up to lock, and then it will let no air out. Okay. Unless you hit the button and dump air out that way. Okay. So that said, I normally keep mine on lock until I start ascending. Once I start ascending, then I put it on auto. Okay? The, and that's that. Should you also, another couple of ways to let air out. If you are, if you have too much air in and you start a, a, a rapid ascent and you absolutely do not want that, first off, hold, you, hold one arm up, the highest part of your body, just like this, reach up, grab a hold, and don't. And let all that air out, okay? But make sure that you can close that thing pretty quick, okay? Because guess what happens when the air stops coming out? Water's coming in. Water's coming in, all right? No bueno, okay? You don't want that, all right? You may, when you do that, you're going to get some water around your wrist right here, but that's, that ain't bad, right? That ain't bad at all. Uh, so oh, the other one is you can also grab your neck and dump this way, all right? I prefer the wrist, but should you need to dump a lot of air quickly, if you come straight up in the water column, just dump that way, right? But guess what's coming in after? Water. Water. So, and then once you let go of it, it's going to vacuum pack you again. You're going to feel vacuum packed. Okay? So, we talked about balancing the bubble. We talked about the perfect squeeze. And now I'm tired of talking. And now I'm ready to go get in the water.
Okay? So what we're going to do, as soon as you get in the water, as soon as we walk in the water, what I want you to do is I want you to either keep this on auto and let it let squat down in the water like this and squeeze as much air out of that thing as you can. Matter of fact, go ahead and do that now. Put it on lock. Go ahead and squat down. Squeeze yourself. And squeeze as much air out as you can right now. Now it should just vacuum to you a little bit, right? Oh, wow. When we get in the water, that vacuum is going to pick up pace a little bit, okay? It's gonna, you're going to feel a little bit more, all right? So we're going to, as soon as that happens, I want you to squeeze as much out of yourself as possible. Get it all out, okay? That way, when we drop down underwater, there's no extra air in there that's going to cause you not to get underwater. Everybody should have about eight additional pounds on them. You do. So that you will be able to get down underwater. We can, since this is your first time, I don't want to play around on the surface of these things. I want to make sure you get underwater so that we can um, we can adjust for weight with the suits. Okay. Eventually, we fine tune it down so that you get the right exact perfect weighting. But for now, I want you worried about getting underwater, balancing the bubble, and having a good balance. All right, money. <laughs>